they brought Yahya ibn Aktham. Yahya was like top scholar amongst them. For him to ask Imam al-Jawad. And if Imam al-Jawad was able to answer, then fine, they surrender. Otherwise, they would pressurize Ma'amun not to give his daughter to Imam al-Jawad. And you know, the question he asked was about that person who is in a state of ihram and he hunts while he's in a state of ihram. And Imam al-Jawad gave answer. Now, what I want to discuss are three things which after the marriage with Umm al-Fadl, they still did not surrender. They came back. To Ma'amun again. And they said to Ma'amun, we do not believe that Imam al Jawad deserves our daughter. And we need to ask him more questions to satisfy ourselves. These questions, brothers and sisters, don't take it out of context. The questions has to do with Shia teachings, it has nothing to do with general Muslims. So this I'm going to share with you just to understand how Ahl al-Bayt explains certain things. Like what I did on Friday. It's not about to bring any disunity among. At the end of the day, we will remain Shia. Sunnis will remain Sunni. Unity doesn't mean that I sacrifice being Shia, they sacrifice being Sunni. Unity doesn't mean that when I meet a Christian, I hug her, I shake her hand. That doesn't mean unity. My value has to remain there. And I must be accepted the way I am, and I must accept them the way they are. If we are able to do so and get to that level, that is a true unity. But when I sacrifice my value and you sacrifice your value for us to meet, then that's not unity. It means we are tolerating each other. And when you tolerate someone, you still have some pain on your chest. But if you respect and accept, you will not have sleepless night. And that is what we need to fight. We must be accepted as Shias who do our Salat on Torba, and we must accept Sunnis, and we must accept all. Now, this Yahya ibn Aksam, they were in the palace of Ma'amun. They call it Majlis in the Riwaya. And the Yahya ibn Aksam threw this question to Imam al-Jawad. He said, what do you say about this tradition of the prophets? Then Imam al-Jawad asked, which tradition are you talking about? He said, the tradition that one day, Allah sent Jibrail to Prophet. And he said to Prophet, O oh Prophet, in Allah you salam. Indeed, Allah is passing his salam unto you. And that Allah say, I should tell you. Look at the tradition. You know, there are fabrications in Sunni world, and there are fabrications in our books, also, by the way. Not everything you see in our books are authentic. Both sides, there are fabrications. Now, the tradition goes on. But Allah says, I should tell you, he is pleased with the first Khalifa. Ask the first Khalifa if he is pleased with Allah. You understand the tradition? So Yahya ibn Aksam, ask Imam al-Jawad. Look at how Imam responded, and this should serve as a lesson for us. Imam al-Jawad said, I do not have a problem when it comes to the fada'il and the merit of Abu Bakr. That's the saying of Imam al-Jawad. But this hadith is fabricated. And Imam al-Jawad explained how is the hadith fabricated. You know what Imam al-Jawad said? Imam al-Jawad said because after Hijjatul Wada, we know very well Gadir Khum what happened. But it's not about Gadir Khum. Rasulullah said, Kathurat alayya al kathib. Wasa taksur ba'di. Wa man kathaba alayya muta'amidan. Fali yatabawwa amaka adahu min al nar. And this also is a big lesson for all of us. Prophet said, There is a lot of lies about me. And in fact, when I depart, people will lie more about me. But Note that whoever lies about me should prepare for his or her abode on the day of Qiyamah. Today, look at somebody will get small hadith and will publish it on Facebook. He doesn't know whether it, well, there are so many fabricated traditions that we are circulating. Somebody will come, if you recite this hundred times, you, you are immune from poverty in your life. And, you know, this playing with people's motion also. There are people who are really in tough 
situation. You tell them you have to do this a, a thousand times. They will do. So Rasulullah Then Imam al Jawad refer Yahya ibn Aksam to Quran 50 verse 16. That Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala said, وَلَكَ دَخَلَكْنَا الْإِنسَانَ وَنَعْلَمُ مَا تُوَسُّسُ بِهِ نَفْسُهُ وَنَعْنُ أَكْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَلِيهِ He said, we created insan, and we know what is in the heart of insan. Even his imagination, we know. If Allah knows the imagination, how on earth will ask if the first Khalifa is pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Then Yahya asked the second question. This is intra-faith dialogue. So okay, fine. But what do you say when it comes to this riwayah? Hassan, Hussein, Sayyid, Shabab, Ahlil. Isn't it? But this tradition, Shia, sometimes you take only your version. There is another version also. And the first Khalifa, second Khalifa, Sayyid, Kuhul, Ahlil, Jannah. And they are the leaders of the elders of Jannah. We have this tradition also. So Yahya Ibn Aksam ask Imam al Jawad. And this is the soal they call ta'annutan. What is ta'annutan? You know, people, they don't ask because they want to know. But they ask because they want to bring you down. It's like sometimes when you have a question and answer session, there are people about marja'iyah, they've been asking every day. But always, somebody will just, and he knew his answer, but he will still come and tell you, Sheikh, who is a'lam? <laughs> This is what we call ta'annutan. These are the things that break communities, by the way. Huh? So, Yahya ibn Aksam asked Imam al Jawad. Imam al Jawad said, As far as I'm concerned, look at the humility and the humbleness of Ahl al Bayt. He said, As far as I'm concerned, in Jannah, we will all be of the same age. Then Yahya asked him, How? He said, We will be not more than 40. Each one of us will be youth in Jannah. Otherwise, if you are old, you will not enjoy the taste of Jannah. Yeah, even Aksam still was not okay. He asked another question. And he said to him, okay, fine. What do you say in the tradition? That says that the first Khalifa and the second Khalifa, they are like Jibrail and Mikail on the earth. Yeah, this is very strong tradition, by the way. He asked Imam al Jawad alayhi salam. Jawad al Aima look at him. He said, There is no comparison between Imam Dins and angels. He would not say, Fabricate la la la. He said, Because the angels, he quoted, La ya asuna la hama amarahum, wa ya fa'aluna ma yumaru. Angels never go against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They will always implement the teachings of Allah. And then Ya'ibun Aksam asked Quran said, Fabuhit Allah kafar. And then one of the old masters he said, indeed Allah knows where he sent his messenger.